So I gotta, you know, to hear that your children are the one that's telling you about your, your wife potentially cheating, what have your children told you about this man that's in the house? Oh, man, Karamo, listen, man. First of all, let me tell, let me tell everybody this, man. Yeah. A three-year-old and a four-year-old ain't gonna make up no damn story like mm. that. You know what mm. I mean? Like, so that, what's you know Jackie what I mean? saying about all this? Oh, Jackie's, Jackie's reaction is, <laughs> they're just making that up. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Right off rip, like, if yeah. my child is telling something about me that's not true, yo, what is you talking about? Like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. don't do that. I feel like it's gonna be a different right. reaction. Right, yeah. like, you don't, you don't smile about it and, and, and think it's cute. Like, that ain't cute. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We've been together 13 years for, for a child to say that. Like, whoa, I'm, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna nip that in the bud real fast. Yeah. You know what I mean? This yeah. is something that, this is our life, like, you know, it, and, and it's, it just messes me up in the head. So let me go back a little bit. How did you and Jackie first meet? Ah, yo, that was a good one. Uh, <laughs> I seen her at one of these, one of my friends' houses out there and I took a liking to her, like, hmm, nice little thing, you know. But again, you know, I was drinking and stuff like that, so I wasn't really thinking clearly. Uh, then I ended up seeing her again a little while later. We met at a bar. We ended up talking and we got to know each other and. One thing led to another, man, and we just started hanging out. And then, uh... Did you suspect she was cheating from this, the beginning? How you say? All right, if I took... If I can take you from the dude you with, the what makes me not believe that somebody can take you away Got from it. me. Got it. Okay. You understand Got what it. I'm saying? So, it was, it was in the back of my mind. You know, I just didn't play on it too tough. But one day, I came home, and I found a rubber in my toilet. Oh. And that's what like put me in that mindset. But come to find out a few years, it took a few years later, my oldest daughter told me, Dad, I did that. You know, I didn't, oh, want, I didn't wow. want y'all together. And I'm like, yo, why would you do wow, something so like that? Wow, so your oldest daughter put yeah, that in the toilet yeah, and did yeah, that? Wow. Yeah, because she didn't want us together, you know. Wow. So I know that you went to prison for a while. How were things with you and Jackie the first time you went to prison? She just stopped talking, like she stopped writing me, she stopped answering that phone. I had to make three ways, and you know you can't do that in prison. You can't make no three way. Yeah. If they catch you oh. doing that, you lose your phone privilege, privilege, and that quick, person yeah. lose his phone privilege. Yeah, yeah. Now it's a big problem. But you know, and I would reach out and write letters, and she wouldn't write back. And I, it, it made me, it made me feel some kind of way then. Like, damn, like this is supposed to be my girl. She's supposed to ride for me. And how like, long were you in prison that first time? That first time, it, I don't think I was in there too long. I think I was like maybe 11 months or something like that. But a f almost a full year, and yeah, she didn't write back or communicate I mean, at all. In the very beginning, she did, but like after the first three months, that was it. Like everything stopped. Okay. Like you know what I mean? I ain't getting no cards, no nothing like. So that made me feel some kind of way in the beginning. And then um, I came back. I ended up buying my grandmother's home. But, you know, after How a while... How have things been back with you and Jackie since you've been home? They got rocky, man. Like, it got real rocky. Like, she just ain't her. She ain't the same. And then, like, everything that I was asking her, is there people in the house? Is, you know, is anybody stopping over? No, nobody's stopping over. Then eventually she just started getting, like, real mean and irate, like... Well, I think, everyone, it's time to hear what Jackie has to say about all this. So, everyone, please welcome Jackie <laughs> to the show. Hey, Jackie, how are you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are you? So, I want to know, how do you feel about what was just said? <laughs> well, uh -huh. it, it's a lot. Yeah. Um, my feelings with this whole situation is everywhere. Frustrated, annoyed, confused, hurt, depressed. Like, you name it, I am it. Yeah. What's causing all those emotions? Him. Mm -hmm. He's definitely the one to cause every single emotion that I have at this moment. Well, let me ask you directly, have you been sneaking out, sneaking a man into your house? Because that's what he says your kids are saying? If I'm tired of him, why would I want another man? Okay. That, that's, that's just how that's I feel. That's not a direct like, answer. I'm not, all right. But yeah. what I'm, so. what, okay, direct answer, no. No, but What I'm okay. saying is if, okay. I'm, I'm, if I'm fed up with a man that I'm dealing with right now, why would I want to run out and go to another man when I'm tired with this man? Like, I have kids that I have to think about. I have kids that I have to worry about. I have a house. I, I deal with his stuff all day, every day. Well, you day. say you're tired of me. How are you tired of me when I'm the one who's doing all the providing and all the pulling around here? How you tired of me? When, when I'm the one who's, who's busting his ass to make sure that you right and them kids is right. Push yeah, pause, I, push pause. I made push a bunch pause. of mistakes, but at the end wait, of the wait, day, wait, wait, wait. Push I pull pause. this. I want you to push pause for one second. Yeah. What the hell do I do in that house? Do I not pay the bills? 
You cook, yeah, you, pay you cook, some bills. you go out, you work, you do everything. So don't make it look like it's just you. But at the end of the day, it don't, I, feel I, like I, I, it don't feel like I'm in this together with you're you. You're doing an I, Because I, I, I was in prison I, by I, myself. I, I. You sure was. I was by myself and I was by without, myself a, sing, with without a single and letter. Dogs like, and your house and your crazy ass family mm. doing everything else to me. So have you I ever cheated that. on Andrew at all? No. Never once in your life? No. Okay. So what were things like when you, when Andrew went to prison? And when he went to prison, it, it's, it's hard. You leave me with a house, two dogs, mm -hmm. kids. But I left you with a house. I didn't leave you on the streets. Okay. I ain't leave but you living with nobody else. Well, that's that's what I'm talking about, though. I'm talking about look at where, look at what I've been doing compared to what okay, I've been Andrew, getting. Okay, so you're a it's, saint in everything. I'm not right? saying that you're I'm a saint. saint. I said I said it off that, rip. Everything like, is on. Like, all right, me. see, give me one second, cause I'm I'm trying to explain this. Like, yeah, let's make this to, make sense. To, exactly, make that's make what I'm trying sense, to make Steve. this make sense. So at the end of the day, like I said, what I didn't just leave you. Like, you make it look like I just left you. No, I didn't leave you. I didn't want to leave you. And like I said, hey, today I'm going to get up and go get rested today so I can leave you at home with the kids. No, okay, but that's not, that, 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 wasn't, that wasn't the thing. The thing was, when I did get pulled away from you, I left you with a good standing. I left you in the house. I left you with, with Andrew, you didn't have own... to even leave me. You I didn't decide, have to. I, did, I got pulled. You right. No, you did. Hey, you to right. Leave. So I at didn't the end of the do, day, I didn't don't say and say, that. me, me, me. No. Oh, she did this, she did that. I said, Andrew, I wouldn't do that. Oh, mm. you're so pissed off and frustrated with me and, and your own feelings about me. You go and do what you want to do. Yeah. And then you come back and be like, oh, I got pulled over. Now I got to go to court. I'm already in this, that, and the third. Yeah, So again, what do you think that's going to do? But again, what did I say? Where I stand my, up for what I did wrong. Where was that's my feelings? Truth. Where did you consider me when you when you went and did what I when you did? What you did? Where did you consider me? I didn't. You didn't. I'm going to be so, honest. So I didn't. how are you sitting here blaming me for something that you did and you didn't consider me when you did it? I didn't blame you for yes, what you I did. Yes, you did. You blame me now. I'm You're not blaming you for everything what, that's going I'm on. I'm not blaming you, you for what I did. You're I'm blaming, blaming you for, for what you did when I was in jail and what you didn't do when I was in jail. Oh. That's what I'm telling. Oh, that's you all about basically writing I'm saying. Writing and picking up the phone and right, all that other picking stuff. Picking up the phone. So why didn't you answer the phone? Why did you answer the phone? Why do I want to talk to you when you did this? And then you come out and you're gonna sit here and say, "Oh, I have a feeling she's cheating on me, or she ain't the same." You right? I'm not the same. You left me to care for our kids by myself. Yeah, you put me up in the house, but think about the shit that happened in that house. What was going on in the house? It got shot up. Yeah, okay. the house was bad. house was all shot up. It got shot up. It so got you're a fire in the house with the kids the now. Window. We, we rebuilt this house. He's saying he built it from himself. I put 17 grand in with him. So yeah. it's just not you. So don't sit there and say, oh, I did this and I did that and I did this. Nah. I'm not saying I never did said that. Did he not it was say that? Me. Did he I not said say that I did? I, left I, you. I put them in this house. Yeah. I did this. I... But I did. Why are we playing the I game? I'm not using the words I said in the, in the well, maybe. Make I it did. make sense. <laughs> it is the truth, though. So I did. Not, yeah. But I did. How I often did. does Andrew, how often does Andrew accuse you of cheating on him? <laughs> A lot. I? How old am I? I feel like I've been going through this one since I've been born with him. Really? But I ain't know you that you long. You ain't know so. me that long. You right, but that's how you make it feel. Andrew, my producers told me that when y'all got together, y'all you were married. Yeah. Are you still married? Unfortunately, yes. Can you tell your can you tell them what what you did on your wedding night? What you do? I was a bad boy. What you do? What did you do on your wedding night? I cheated on my wife because I didn't want to be with her. On make your it make night. sense. On your wedding night, okay. Yeah. So would you have these feelings because of the things that you did? You did that. But, but that they... was before I had children. Okay, so why do before you feel? Before I had but children. But you, you doing these accusations on me like, oh, well, if I can do okay, it, you can do so it. Here, so here's the thing. So like I said, if my children are telling me something, a three-year-old and a four-year-old are making up these, even if they're making it up, like where are they getting it from, okay? And then when I ask you about it, instead of you cutting it off and stopping it right then and there, you smirk about it. Hey, don't, don't say that. That's I do, not right. Because you know, but, but at, the yeah, at, the, day, at the end of the day. But at what, the beginning of the day, you should stop that. That should be cut but right sit there. there and like, say no, that you don't I say am that. The one that's the, oh, you're just sitting there covering it up. You don't want them to say okay, anything. So, so of if course. I yell at them so if you're not saying, saying nothing to them, then that's what I feel anyway. Like, be if you're not if saying do, nothing. Be damned if I don't. Well, listen, I think the main reason you came here, Andrew, is because you wanted me to unlock Jackie's phone. So I think it's time to unlock her phone. If anything, then hey. Andrew, you want to know if Jackie has been communicating with any other men. Jackie says she is not. My Unlock the Phone investigators searched her calls and found that Jackie is telling the truth.
Maya locked the phone. Investigator also searched her apps and found that Jackie is telling the truth. <laughs> Andrew, you want to know if Jackie blocked his number while he was in prison? Jackie says no. Maya locked the phone. Investigator searched her phone and found that she is telling the truth as well. <laughs> so as we scrubbed her phone, She had not deleted anything. She didn't show anything. What we saw on her phone was that she has been very honest. She has been honest with you. She has not been cheating on you. She has not been doing anything. She has not even had any, like, kind of, like, flirty conversations with anyone. It's, she's been an honest, devoted woman to you. 13 years. How about that? Hmm. Hey, I apologize. But at the end of the day, like, what am I supposed to think when my children are telling Miss Mom? You should think that they're three and four-year-olds that have imaginations. <laughs> And I, I just want to also be clear with anyone. We also asked Jackie if she wanted to unlock your phone. Mm. And Jackie, you declined. You said it wasn't important to you. Why, why, was, why was it not important for you to unlock his phone? Because I love and trust him. Mm. He got the problem with me. Got it. And I want to prove to him, I want you to get what you want. I love and trust you. You're the one that has the problem. So now you're the one that figure it out. Mm. Mm. I am so, so apologetic for my actions and the way that I have treated you these last, this, all of this. I, I feel like the biggest piece of crap in the world right now. You should. I will tell you this, you have a good woman and she loves you. I, I do, I have can, a great can woman. Can you give her right now one last thing because I need, to, I need to at least do this. Can you give her, because she, it was an adamant statement she said six times, I was counting it, about the house and that you kept saying that I did it, I did it, I did no, it. No, we it. did that. Tell her. We got that house. We put that good, house together. Good, good. And we are going to keep that house good, together. Good, good. There you go. I'm going to tell you this, Andrew. If you can stick in that type of conversation, if you can start acknowledging what she does by not just saying, well, she knows, because I see a lot of times you say, well, she knows what type of woman she is. She knows what she's doing. Yeah. She needs to hear from you because, unfortunately, we spent many years breaking the trust and trying to break her self-esteem that now it's going to be your job. You said you, you're a builder. Yeah. You said you got tools. You got to be the one to build this back up now. Okay. So every time you do something, you got to say, you know what, we did this. I'm proud of what we did. Right. We did this. You got to acknowledge her. Right. We are being faithful to each other. We are loving each other. We are doing this. Because she needs to hear these from you to know that this can be rebuilt. Because what she's had is 13 years of you accusing her and trying to break her down. And I do believe you love her, and I know damn sure you love this man. So you need to just show up for her the way she needs you to show up for her. All right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I Thank appreciate you, your apology. I know that you love this man, and I know that you, there's some work that needs to be done here, but hopefully you got your vindication and that this could be the first step to y'all having a healthy relationship together. Really, I wish you the best of luck. I really do. Andrew, I wish you the best of luck as well.